In this experiment, Mr. Yap will be throwing a medicine ball while standing on a skateboard. Let's see what happens. Mr. Yap's skateboard is able to move because of the action-reaction forces that resulted from him throwing the medicine ball forward. When Mr. Yap is holding on to the ball before he throws it, there are a few forces acting on him, the skateboard, the ball and the ground. The earth exerts a downward force on Mr. Yap, the skateboard and the ball due to gravity. By Newton's third law, Mr. Yap, the skateboard and the ball exert an equal and opposite upward force on the earth. These are known as non-contact forces. At the same time, Mr. Yap, the skateboard and the ball also exert a force on the ground at the point where the skateboard wheels touch the ground. The ground reacts by exerting an equal and opposite upward force on Mr. Yap, the skateboard and the ball via the skateboard wheels. These are known as contact forces. When Mr. Yap is throwing the ball forward, up to the point before the ball leaves his hands, he introduces another pair of contact forces. His hands are exerting a force on the ball. The ball pushes back on his hands with an equal force in the opposite direction. At the same time, frictional forces are also acting on the wheels. Mr. Yap and the skateboard will experience a net force to the left and hence an acceleration to the left. This happens when he is throwing the ball forward up to the point before the ball leaves his hand. From the point when the ball leaves his hand, there are only frictional forces acting on Mr. Yap and the skateboard. Hence, Mr. Yap and the skateboard decelerate to rest. <laughs>